Hi, my name is Anna. I'm 22 and I'm based out of Houston, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. Welcome to Austin. Thanks for coming over. What do you do for a living in Houston? I work for a lighting showroom that where I basically manage all of the displays. I put them up. I take them down. Like lamps and stuff? Yeah, chandeliers and all that fun stuff. And I also um, do quality control and that kind of stuff. I am problem solver all around there. I don't know what it's about my personality. I don't know if it's weird or if it's a common thing. Let me know. But I love going through those stores. I'm obsessed with going through those stores. If I'm at Home yes. Depot and I just I don't even care about being there, it's just annoying. I'm probably there for something I don't want to be. Right. Just to walk through the lights aisle. <laughs> yes. Of just happiness. So what are we currently making in this position? $23 an hour. I recently got a raise. By recently, that's like two weeks ago. Like a week ago, I mean. 20, oh, from what? From 20. Nice. How many hours are we working a week? On average, 43. 43? Mm-hmm. I, so I How have, often do you take time off? Unless it's for family reasons, I usually don't take time off. How I'm, often does this family pop up? Twice a year, maybe, okay. where I have to go out of the um, country. And you take like a week? Oh, no. country. Yeah. How long do you take? <laughs> I take like two days off. From like Where are you we going? like business days because I go to Mexico. My dad has oh. territory in Mexico, and territory. I, yes, he has lands and a home and stuff. Property. Yeah. Territory. I'm thinking like <laughs> he has agricultural land that he rents out to people. Uh, so I go with him because he's handicapped and he needs help. What's he growing in his territory? <laughs> um, as far as I'm aware, the most it is it's like um, corn. And green gotcha. beans or tomatoes. So you said forty three hours or forty three hours on average? Yeah, because I'll I'm supposed to be nine to five, and then Saturdays ten to three, so it should be forty five. But some days I'll go in a little later, so it cuts into that. Can you give you fifty one weeks a year? That sounds about right. <laughs> See, that's like the math part. I'm not good at at all. Fifty thousand dollars a year. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Now. 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 <laughs> Four thousand two hundred dollars a month. Before taxes, before... Right, I would say, realistically, it looks more like... Well, before the raise, it looked more like... Well, before 20. the raise, what came in the account was 2769 mm -hmm. is what came in the account there. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's going to be more like... 35 probably now, by the looks of it. That That's what I was estimating. Because okay. I, I got paid most recently with this... Uh, most recent week that I recently got that raise. It was like 880 if I'm not mistaken. What's your living situation right now? I live in an apartment I rent with my boyfriend. Okay. I live with my boyfriend. So, so we, you split? Yeah, we split the rent right. now. Cool. So obviously we've gone into some debt as anyone and everyone who comes on the show has. A lot mm -hmm. of stuff is credit cards and then there's either, there. I think there's a car, a vehicle. Is that what it is or a personal no, loan? No, it's a personal loan personal for loan. a trade school. I decided to oh. take on that. I feel like I shot myself in the foot with. So... But. <laughs> The credit cards, the Didn't checking account, the low balances, trying to finesse things like putting things yeah. into different uh, places, into like Robinhood right now, which doesn't really make sense when we have car credit cards. Some are accruing interest, some are on interest free periods. Yeah. What are we doing? Because, uh, I mean, just well, first, I want to give yourself a financial score zero out of 10. But then just tell us what the f like, <laughs> I know, just, what, it's a what mess. is the mess? So, I okay let, let let let's start from the beginning. Um I would give myself a 1. I so I started working at 19. Sure. Oh, probably earlier, but my first real job I started working at 19 and then I got a second job whilst working the first job, my current job. I got that during that first job. Okay. And then things came to a head at my home like between my family. What? So I was being a whore. <laughs> we'll put it like that. I was just being a whore. I was young. I was messing around with people. Yeah, I know. I was messing around with people. Uh, okay. Okay. And Hold on. That's a, that's that. <laughs> okay. Like, I just, I, I don't, don't even know, know if it's to say well, it. it's okay. It's okay. I'm not, I'm okay but judge. point I mean, being is that what, what ended up happening is my dad ended up finding out and he shunned me. And then, so he didn't like that you were having sex with people. Exactly. And it's funny because that's the reason why he didn't teach me to drive. Hence why I don't drive Wait, and don't when, have what, a car. Wait, what, what age? 19. He wasn't teaching you to drive at 19. 
and even before that, he didn't. He Were never you in wanted Mexico to. At this time? No, I've, I've I was born and raised but, here. But your Houston. dad is in Mexico now. No, he lives here. He, but he, he owns just, the property. But he owns right. territory. Yeah, and he okay. has rented it out, and other people are. So in charge he was of that. un. He was angry that his adult daughter was doing what she wanted to do. Yeah, and sexually. I was. Yeah, and he didn't agree with it, so he. Not that it matters, but just for context, so if I so I can judge this person. He's so very. He's he's very conservative, very traditional. Like when you say whore, what do you mean? You were having a dude over every single night? No, no, I never had dudes over. I always snuck out and went on my own. It doesn't matter, but again, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm judging him or not. What do you mean when you say you're a whore? Just give us some context. I would meet people. How often? Let's say a handful. How often, though? Handful like, over the course of like five years is like. Oh, no. Like once over the a year. course. Okay, so over the course of a year. Let, let's put it like that. Over the course of a year, I met like seven different dudes or whatever Who my cares? dad my dad found out about one specifically that he was concerned over or well oh, my sister oh. snitched on me and then he we me and my dad had a falling out basically over that and he can have his opinion but you're an adult at that time doing exactly. whatever you know you wanted to do mm -hmm. now the only things i would ever judge when it comes to uh, people people can do whatever the f they want i would just say you know be safe you definitely know, always practice precaution always and get tested every three months stuff always like that. i always tested well, that, myself that's great every but like, month who gives a he did so because of that okay my my sisters also like distanced themselves from me even though i was never bringing these men anywhere near my family it was always like off to the side whatever i kept that always to myself but they found out and that's when I started spiraling and I became very suicidal and my depression spiked oh, okay. because I was being shunned in my own household. Yeah, that's terrible. And Wait, you mean you were in the house and you were being shunned? My dad didn't talk to me, didn't look at me. I couldn't really eat at the dinner okay, table. Okay, so he's more socially conservative, but does he know he's being an absolute uh, piece of sh terrible person for making his daughter in a bad mental health place is that he a social does not conservative thing to do any of that i've confronted him several times and because i was working two jobs at the time i was like F it i'm moving out i'm not doing this anymore i'm making well, more than enough money situation. to sustain myself i don't need you i'm okay with any opinion so, on social things people have that from their, themselves but yeah. if you're making your own blood want to exactly literally die because you're creating a toxic home environment it's i always, don't always think toxic. and again he can have whatever opinion he wants yeah. but this is it's making someone else hurt that's mm -hmm. that's where i struggle but yeah so i moved out and got my first apartment and when i got my first apartment i was hustling working the two jobs i decided to get that capital credit card first and i was like well this is just in case type of thing and then I got another one for whatever reason. Because Credit card instead of emergency funds. Classic yeah, America. It was. So I didn't really know about personal finance. Yeah. My dad didn't teach me about that. Most he would don't. always keep that. Like my eldest sister. I'm the baby. I have two other siblings. My eldest sister was basically his assistant, his personal assistant. And a weird house. Yes. Very weird. And so um, I, I just. Retail therapy became a real thing for me. And yeah. I just started spending recklessly because I was making so much money. So we're just going into debt, money that we can't have, things that we can't afford, money we don't have, or just swipe, swipe, yeah. swipe, swipe, swipe. And it didn't really click click until I started watching your videos of how... Hold on, that was like a second ago. Yeah. You just told me that you literally just stumbled upon the videos. You just said as you walked in. And we're talking from 19. So yeah. three years of just around. Okay. It was bad. I need to check, first of all, just as we go into the conversation for contextual reasons, just like before, mm -hmm. uh, where's our mental health now? Better. Much better. Okay. Where therapy and just whatever. We've started therapy. Okay. I have started therapy. How's the relationship with the family now? Because you have a boyfriend, so you're only diddling one person at a time. Obviously. Very faithful. So this should make Mr. Dad Who Hates Sex <laughs> happier. He's actually, he says, I'm going to go to hell because it's a mortal sin to not be married and, and not and having sex and living with someone or whatever. So gotcha. besides the point, he's still not happy about it. They don't like each other. Well, how's the, well, yeah. 
my, How's my the relationship? Very. He's a very healthy person, very patient, very much the opposite of my dad. No, no, no. How's the relationship with Oh, with dad? my dad? Better. It, it was going better. See, my mom died um, a year after I moved out, pretty much. Or I'm like, not, not a year. I'm sorry. It was like five months, six months after I moved out. Because I moved out in April of 2021. She died of September. So math is all wonky time is all wonky from me since then um and i wasn't at home so it just that took a toll on me as well so then every i lost all motivation even my i'm really sorry that's yeah that's incredibly hard and even my duncan boss i couldn't imagine was like he saw the light die in my eyes duncan that's where you worked yeah he saw it and he, and it's funny because he used to train me to become a manager at Duncan. And then he stopped after my mom died because he saw that I was done and I was gone. He could see that. Ben Affleck would be very sad to hear that. Yeah. So I just, I, st I, I don't know why I took out the Robin Hood. I can't remember exactly what made me well, Robin Hood's take it investing, out. Right? Yeah. And I was, and, and you'll see in that, in that statement later, we'll go into it, but I was okay. trying to, I, for a time, I was using that account as a savings account. Okay. How's your relationship with your sisters? Imagine how helpful it'd be if you were rewarded every time you saved or invested your money. Well, that's exactly what Vora does. They're changing the game when it comes to brokerage accounts. Vora is the first brokerage account that matches 1% on every dollar you invest. And the best part is there is no cap, maximum, or limit on how much you can deposit or how much they'll match. It's like getting an award for doing the right thing, investing and saving. But that's not all. Vora hosts a $1,000 sweepstakes drawing every month, and the prize money goes directly into your Vora account. How awesome is that? And if you're too worried about investing being too complex, they've got you covered. Vora offers automated investing in a risk-adverse portfolio. Let Vora handle it all for you so you can spend less time watching the markets and more time doing the things you enjoy. You can even gift investments to your friends and family. We're all on different parts of our financial journey, so Vora lets you support one another by sharing investments or receiving help in funding your account. And if you use the promo code HAMMER23, you'll get a fantastic $10 bonus after your first deposit of $25 or more. Once you're signed up, you can also earn an additional $25 for each friend you refer using your unique referral code. Hundreds of the viewers here have joined Vora over the past three weeks. It's time to reward yourself for investing. Sign up for Vora today using my link in the description below or by going to vora.com forward slash promo forward slash Caleb Hammer and let your money work for you. Oh, better. Good. We're we're that, good now. That, that yeah, we're we're talking. Time. Yeah, me and my I, sisters talk all the time and we're doing really well. The the hardest thing we can do in life is well, first of all, separating toxic people is obviously very important, but when they're a part of our family, it's when they're relatives, especially parents, that's incredibly difficult. Sometimes it's a very necessary thing and that's yeah. incredibly difficult. Again, I'm okay with anyone having their opinions on anything, Definitely. that's fine, but if you extend it onto other people, that's where hard because i'm yeah. like a freedom person like do whatever the f you want yeah unless it like negatively hurts me you know so uh, it was so and that's the thing or it's like someone else obviously my dad and i right now are I, i'm mad at him because he didn't want to bring me to austin um Wait, I, where is he he's in houston okay he, yeah that's right that's right he lives close by he lives like 10 minutes away from where i currently live and i had asked him like hey dad take me to austin i want to go this? see yeah i was like Okay. I want to, I want to try to figure th some things out financially and he being very untrusting of the world. He's like asking me all these questions. I thought like, yes, I expected the questions, but I expected him to be like, yeah, sure. Cause he has no job well, it's fair. and he I has mean, okay. nothing better to do. Well, I'll give him that. I mean, to anyone outside <laughs> of our little community, you're yeah. like, what the f is this? You're going to go on camera yeah. in front of hundreds of thousands and talk about finances and you're going to send a random doing it online, your statements. What are you doing? You're crazy. Yeah. So like, I can kind of understand that. Yeah. And so I was like, I was trying to show my dad your videos just to give him an idea of like who you are. So he can get a vibe, but he was being very much. Well, who took you to here today? A Greyhound busted. I decided to just say. Why, why not boyfriend? He works. Oh, okay. Well, he, he couldn't, he, he couldn't call out. Oh, wow, okay. And plus it was cheaper on a Greyhound versus having to 
and my dad was like demanding me to get him a rental car to bring him over. And I'm just like, I'm not getting a fucking rental car when you have a very good truck right there. That's perfectly usable. So you do not have a car? I don't have a car. Because you don't know how to drive. I don't know how to drive. Okay. Never taught me. So, and it's funny. It's actually very easy if you just, yeah, you know, maybe but the boyfriend. I, I also don't have a car to practice on. I said the boyfriend. He does not want to lend me his car yet because he's just like, I, I don't. That, that's no, 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 I'm not saying like, lend, but yeah, like, you know, like a very empty parking lot. He doesn't want to do that yet. So. Right, well, you guys do you. I don't yeah, know. I know. I'm, I'm still fighting on that. All right. We, we need to get, we need to get. Yeah, let's this. get into this. <laughs> but first you should hit subscribe because we're trying to get to a million <laughs> subscribers. Thank you so much for 800,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much. You have no idea. And including you because you're subscribed. So and close, thank you for being yes. here and putting your financial situation on display. It's very good. Mm hmm. Um, so we have a thousand sixty seven forty cents on here, uh, with a minimum monthly payment of thirty nine dollars. Mm-hmm. That one hurts me because of the interest rate. That one. Yeah, the interest has. rate sucks. Yeah, now you have zero dollar interest rates on other cards. Yeah. So if we have zero dollar interest rates on so, other cards, no, why wouldn't we use those instead of going and purchasing two hundred dollars on here when we're only making a seventy five dollar payment? Why are we spending on a card that has interest when we have at least the other alternatives of not having interest on other cards? What? We have some bag things. Careful with the can. Okay. Happy? It- yes. Well, are they attached <laughs> to your Apple Pay? No, that one no longer is. <laughs> you are you are not a credit card person. And you're not a credit card person. I'm not. I've I've learned watching your videos that I am not. Up, making sure things important, like dangerous yeah. things are not on camera. Okay. Good. So just just to prove that, yeah. <laughs> We're not using that card anymore. Rules for not being a f- oh, This is this beautiful. is our grand rules. Our grand rules. Laminated. It's so beautiful. Does that fit in the budget? It does Let's not. be honest. Nothing I mean, if we're putting things on a balance, and I'm glad you chopped it up, but Uber, some paddling, Starbucks, and Ubering, whatever paddle.net is, either way, these do not fit in yeah. the budget. No, they don't. And if you don't have those things, that's rule number one. Rule number two, you need an emergency fund. You're not hitting that rule. Mm-mm. Don't hold a credit card balance. You're spending on a credit card balance. Rule number three right there. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yes. Take a look. Yes. You're breaking rule number three. I am. I've broken so many rules. Honestly, it's insane. If you want the rules for not being a link in the description below, check it out. It's great. Super fun. Total interest is here so far. $300 stolen from you. So when did you cut that up? Because this goes all the way to the beginning of uh, most recent month. So when, when did you cut this up? Two, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, it's a thirty-two point two four percent interest. Yeah, and it's funny because it's, it's like I've tried to like get that to be lowered or like get something else in that card, but I they they were just like, no, we're not doing any of that. Discover, which is the next one, was like, yeah, sure, we'll 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 give you another year of interest free, which was nice. Yeah, it better be because it's at. Two thousand five hundred eighty-one dollars and ninety-two cents. Yeah, it's bad. Discover it. I'm not proud. I'm really not. Discover it. Discover a fifty-two dollar minimum monthly payment. Yeah. So okay, when does this year end? This year. Yeah. When does the year that started interest-free? April, end? if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's gonna come up quick. Yeah, that's why and I again, wanted. To- I mean, just. <laughs> yeah, they're still. Um, some things on that card that you had to contact them. You had to contact them yeah. because you couldn't afford it because interest was accruing. But instead of tackling it before April, when it actually becomes due, we're deciding to put more than double on it. What you're putting towards it yeah. in what logical world does that possibly make sense? Did you chop this one up too? No, not yet. Why? Cause it has zero percent interest. That doesn't make sense. Why are you spending on a card? Because, I'm stupid. Okay. And because there are, if if we look through the things that I spent money on that, it was just times that I just, we went out and. Madam producer, may I have a pair of scissors, por favor? If you're actually serious about this, you do this to every card. It's not an option. You're putting, you're removing it from your Apple wallet. You're cutting it up. It doesn't make sense. You're f***ing around. I know. It's bad. Half is just 
It's just not doing it, dude. It's no, just, it may as well not, not be doing anything. It, uh, and what's the two hundred thirty-two dollars? Uh, it must have been a year of Express VPN because that's way too much. For, oh yeah, that's what it was. Bahama, Mahama, Mama, Bahama, Mama, Bahama, Mama, and Spotify. We can listen to ads while we have debt, or just use the boyfriend Spotify. I need to move that over to the other one. Yeah. Yeah. I need to put that on my debit. I don't know why I haven't. What's What's the chains on the wrist? What does What does that oh, stand for? Because I'm free from my dad. I broke free. Oh my gosh. Okay. That That's why it's broken, and that's why the rosary's on this one. And, and this is why therapy burnt. exists. Yeah, that's why I'm started therapy. And this is at 25 percent interest usually. Yeah. Uh, we've lost 144 dollars and 10 cents, 12 cents of interest this year so far. Bahama, Bahama, much more important than any. We good? Yeah, real quick. All right. Do you want to do the honors? No, Should this I is do you. Do do the honors, but also I want you to be careful to not show anything on screen. So yeah, oh, just be very well, careful. Maybe flip that over so it doesn't show the numbers. Yes. So yes. satisfying, isn't it? Yes. Do you, do you want wait, to wait, wait, wait. pull that up to the mic? Get that job into the mic. Oh, so satisfying. It's all trash. ASMR financial audit. <laughs> it's going to be fun. You want to know something devastating? What? You want to know something devastating? Yeah. Your credit score has went from 759 <laughs> down to 698. It recently went back up to 750. Closer to the microphone, oh, okay. but that's done. We're probably gonna stop this now because I bet a lot of people are clicking off the video. <laughs> <sighs> Your headphones e- didn't cut out, I promise. They either uh, clicked off the video or they got an erection. I don't think there's anyone <laughs> in between. Uh, okay, and simply, simply, city, simply, so city. That one I got for a balance transfer. So the capital used to be worse, and I transferred it. And then I thought I was going to be good and not use it, but then I ended up using it. Which is it. how it always works. So honestly, it works. Balance transfers and consolidations works for the minority of people. Mm-hmm. The vast majority cannot use it. Yeah. Should put that in the rules of honor not be. Yeah. So this brings us now to 2,091. 78. Of which... Congratulations. Again, just, you did your you typical thing of yeah. put $100 towards it. And then spend spent three hundred sixty-two dollars. <laughs> so when does this interest-free period end? Um, can I? Uh, uh, in a couple months, in yeah, a few I months. Say, yeah, I know it's been very close to a year with that one. So what is obviously more important than paying off the card? Chinese buffet, social beer, garden. Garden. Oh, there's just no n. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Garden. Okay, so (laughs) Chinese buffet and social beer. Much more important than not having debt, right? Much more important than our future. Much more important than securing our future. You know, you and your boyfriend might want to get married at some point. Why do that when we can just stay in debt forever? Because we Mm want to have a Chinese buffet, which you go to a lot. You must be obsessed with this Chinese buffet. My dad is. So you hang out with your dad all the time. I do. I I used to, I want to say, because I'm trying to go no contact with him now. Because oh. he he doesn't he likes to eat out a lot and I, I will send him money for taking me to work lately. And yeah, I give him a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know where you live in Houston. I don't know where, where I don't need to know where you live in Houston. Houston, known for not being pedestrian friendly. Have we looked at any potential bus networks? So I've tried taking the bus to work. There was a time where I did do that. But the problem is, is that I could not wake up early enough, consistently enough to do it. Okay, but let's do it because we're an yeah. adult. That's yeah. what I say. I hate waking up early, dude. I'm a stay up late, wake up late kind of guy. I yeah. am. That's me. Guess what? If I had to do something, I would do it. If I had to do it for my life, I would do it. And this is your life. I paid a $15 fee for this balance transfer. Okay. Yeah. Great. And we're still spending money. You chop that one up too? That's one yeah. of those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's that one. Good. They're chopped now, up. Now, this 
terrifies me in your checking account. Two hundred fourteen dollars. Yeah. So oh, sorry, that's not your checking account. No, that's two hundred fourteen dollar minimum monthly payment on the personal loan. Yeah. So personal loan and other consolidation. No, time? that one was for a trade school, so oh, I could yeah. learn to be an electrician, what so happened? I could get the process started on that. What happened? With the so trade school, what happened? I just I feel like I didn't really learn anything from it. Did you get a certificate or anything? Yes, I did. Okay, did you not want to go into being an electrician? I have no motivation. <laughs> it's really bad, and because I'm so comfortable where I am now, I'm. Do you s- like what you do now? Yeah, I do I'm like okay my job. doing what you want to do. I now. do enjoy my job, hence why I also did it because it also because I am the my the owner of the store that I work at calls me the in house electrician, so. I just uh, do you get paid for that fake position? Yeah, allegedly. That's why I got a raise because of also the certificate I got out of it. Listen, I love trade school. I love certifications. I'm a big proponent of tech certifications through course careers. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a big fan of them. I love that kind of stuff. How long yeah. was trade school? It, how long was it? Yeah. I did an online course, so it was like an expedited thing. 6399 is what you borrowed. I could have probably found a way for you to cash flow this if we talked before. Yeah. I'm not really happy about that either. I feel like I shot myself in the foot with that. Well, I mean, the thing I'm not happy about, I mean, student loans, I'm not necessarily completely against it in every situation everywhere, but we're at 12.25% death, insanity, interest rate on this chaos i didn't know the interest rate before With i took it out 31 months left remaining on the left remaining remaining on this yeah i thought that i would i would do it and then i would just leave my job and just go do the electrician do you thing not, so you do not want to do that not anymore really I, I feel like it's a good backup for me in case something goes south with my job it's it's a good backup because i do have that network built in but you remember what the just, payments are stacking up 214 bucks and nine cents on this yeah and we have a total balance owed of $5,641.73 at 12.25 death insane interest rate. Ruined me. Yeah. Now, this is what scares me. Because, again, we, we're going to go through this statement and we're going to see where things are. And all that, all the spending, it goes with you choosing to say, okay, we're okay with having $12.83 in our checking account. In our checking account. What happened? What happens when those the payment comes due? What happens when you only have twelve dollars eighty three cents? I've I've gone under. Yes. Oh, I know. And I was gonna call it out. I've yes. gone under, and I'm not proud of it either. No, no, no. I obviously not. not. No it. one would be. But what do you do? Like, how? What's in your checking account right now? In this exact moment, and something. I literally just checked it this morning. And I don't get paid till Friday. You make too much money. You make too much yeah. money in split living costs with a boyfriend. fifty-one. So you said you've been watching my shit. I'm sorry. That's where it upsets me. And that's why I'm willing to bully a little more. If oh, please we are, do. If we are watching the content and we have $70 in our checking account, you've heard me go in on this on multiple people. Mm-hmm. So if you come on the show and you're like this, I'm going to... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause it's stressful. It's, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Yeah. Cause see my mentality for a while, especially after I moved out was that money is not an issue. I make enough money. I make good money and I should not worry about it. And that stuck with me for a very long time. In, 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 especially after my mom died, I just, I was just like that. I definitely get. Well, I just that, like, nothing I mattered. <laughs> nothing matters. Both of my parents mean the absolute world to me. I wish I can see them more than I do. Uh, they're up in Michigan, but this is. I get it. I I would I would be truly mm-hmm. for a long time. And when that and the sad thing is when that day inevitably comes, like I'm gonna be. It's going to mess with me and it's going to take a lot of mental health help and support, mm-hmm. you know, from friends, from family, from mental health, um, you know, specialists. And so a lot of, a, a lot of like when, when my mom died, my motivation died, my, yeah. my whole, like I used to be very motivated and used to want to become a nurse. And now I'm just like, I don't mm. give a shit. I really don't. For a lot of things, I don't give how, a shit. How often do you go to therapy? Right now it's weekly. Okay, I'm good. doing weekly appointments. I'm sticking to that. And we've talked about this, I hope. 
we're getting to it. Okay, well, keep at it. Keep at it. That's, I mean, that's going to be... I know this upcoming with not appointment is going to be about my dad and touching on my mom because there there is a lot of hatred and anger when it comes to that, so... Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of work here. And that's obviously, we have to address... That's gonna. That's like base level. We need to address. If we have no motivation to tackle this situation, we're not going to tackle it. I can lay out any plan. If we have no motivation to do it, it's not going to happen. If we don't address what is preventing us from having motivation, you know, there's there's no point to the conversation. Like that's step you've given one. me motivation to chop up credit cards and well, to that's good. actually start looking into things like a Roth IRA and even like seeing how my dad is now with practically no f- retirement he can't get a job no one wants to hire him which yeah. f- sucks because he wants to he wants to work how old is he he's he just turned 59 and yeah. the thing about him is again he's handicapped so everybody looks oh. at him walk and they're all just like yeah we're not gonna hire him that sucks. which i know right if f- and so it, it enrages me because i've even tried to get him a job so he has an income of his own i thought just I know the laws for discrimination are very broad, so I'm just, I'm, but he has a limp or something? Mm-hmm. He can't walk very fast. He has a prosthetic, so it's hard for him to get around fast. If there's actual discriminatory processes at work, I would just make sure, obviously, he's probably unqualified to do, like, a he, job he, as a he wants renting to person. Cook. That's all he wants to do. He wants yeah. to work in a restaurant because that's what he's always done. And no one wants to hire him because they're like, oh, he's going to fall or something or he can't get around fast enough. I'm like, what the f*** does he need to get around fast enough if he just needs to stand in front of a grill? Yeah. I get being nervous. You and know, it's just like, just, just. But still, if there are discrimination things in practice, that's something you should actually look into with them. Yeah lawyer um that's out of my field so i just i don't know it's worth right just but saying, it's but. it's that that it, it i had an epiphany recently because seeing how my dad is struggling and i even confirmed with my eldest sister i'm like does dad have a retirement account does he have anything and she's like not a lot he he got rid of everything he had at one point he already blew through that money after what about selling his land he's we keep telling him to do that and he won't listen well maybe he's something very he's stubborn because he's all like they're not going to give me what it's worth they just want to they, they're just going to want to give me like a thousand dollars for it thousand yeah and i'm just like yeah it's ridiculous it's f- ridiculous he's in a really f- position but hence why he's dragging me into a really f- position because i do eat out a lot with him and then i also eat out at, at work so i i will admit how long have you been half of them um two years what does your boyfriend do for a living he works at starbucks and he recently started going into have you guys considered moving to a different city no might be something worth doing the distance might help yeah like a natural barrier natural yeah. natural instead of being forced to do it mentally mm-hmm. if there's issues yeah i'll, I'll talk about that with him <laughs> I'll mention it to him because I know he doesn't really have a problem with picking up and starting over. He's done it several times. There's only like a million Starbucks in Austin. Exactly. So (laughs) So it's like. So we chose going to uh, Tequeria to to keep. For my dad. uh, Uber, which makes sense now that I'm hearing that with your car. Sense store. You go to the sense only store all the time. Uh, very oh, cheap yeah. things from H-E-B, which, you know, I don't know if they're necessities or not. I don't know. It's only 14 bucks. Some uh, Joe V's, mm-hmm. only 11 bucks. You don't have gas that to fill up. That was for dad. Up. So, I Uber bought stuff for and dad. tacos and the Chinese buffet. We know your dad. That's Putting hundred dollars, Put $100 into Robin Hood. That doesn't make sense. When we're ending with $12. Yeah, it was set, yeah. What a side. We have $12.83. Even now, you only have $70. Yep. What's Paley's? That's for the uh, rent. If I'm not mistaken, three dollars and seventeen cents. That's the processing fee. Um, so there should also sense. be like a hundred or seventy-five, right, with that one. But uh, that's the processing mm, fee for that. Oh, I see it. It's it's called something different. Okay, and then Robinhood, fifty bucks. H E B, five bucks. For Dad again, I don't know. Texas N I C, seven one. bucks. Church's chicken, Church's chicken, taquitos, Uber yeah. trip and Uber trip and Starbucks, Papa's yep. barbecue. Mm-hmm. Mercy to Humanity, Uber, La Mocara, La Moreliana. Sure. Yep. You say it much better than <laughs> I. That's my dad. Uber trip. 
Mm-hmm. Probably to and go to work. Another pay lease thing. So twice in one month, you pay rent twice. I so I because I get paid weekly. I prefer to send things out mm. whenever I get that paycheck. So I will set well, we a hundred or if whatever. If we budget, if we actually budget and we follow the budget, we don't have to do it like that. But okay. mercy to humanity. I don't know what that is. No, it's only like I don't I don't recognize three cents. Well, it was a roundup charity, maybe. Maybe you contributed possibly? three cents at yeah, checkout. Possibly. I don't Robin know. Robin funds another 50 bucks. Yeah, Zelda, that, Obi-Wan, Kenobi. My dad. That's what I have him under. Because he's always been like, oh, you're destined to go to hell because of the day you were born on. You're going you're gonna to go dark side. I don't think <laughs> Obi-Wan was ever mean or toxic yeah. or said that people were going to go to hell. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Ewan McGregor was a lovely guy. I know. Okay. That that Apple that's who bills, that is. Uberin, Central East stores, Bahama Mama. Yeah, I have an issue with that. I have a dependency. The the weed. Hence that's why. weed. Bahama Mama's weed. So technically, it's legal weed or whatever. That that's just a smoke shop. It's just a smoke shop. That oh, that's so all. Yeah, it you is. spend a lot there. Yeah. Bakery. It's bad. Klarna. What are you financing through Klarna? I didn't see that. Probably something for my dad on Amazon. That Stop. He needed. So you need to cut this relationship. <laughs> if there's if there's like actual. Uh, financial manip- manipulation going on like I'm that's Most immediately definitely. Where, like I'm the emotional stuff I'll talk about it to give some context but I'm not going to give any advice on that mm-hmm. uh, but what I will say if I see financial manipulation like that's where I'm like that's you know within my hence why I'm trying comfort, and I'm just like cut it cut it cut it why I'm going no contact with him no contact and that's where I said that physical barrier might actually be helpful and yeah. good for you uber trip Robin Hood funds, 50 bucks. You don't have it. Taquitos. I don't know why. Apple. I thought I stopped that. Uh, Uber. La Bubba's Burgers and Uber and Social Beer. Yeah. Uber. Starbucks. Taquitos. Chinese restaurant. Dad. Going money to going 50 bucks to dad. Yep. For taking me to work. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. He'll, he'll Netflix. We do not need to be binging shows that aren't that good. I watch comedians on there. There's like certain well, shows of my favorite comedians that are on yeah. there that help me feel better. And I'll just play them on repeat in the background. Well, guess what? We even don't though, need it. Even, well, that, and even though I'm not a big proponent of, you know, the mental health toll that TikTok has been taking on a lot of people, but well, most of the comedy specials, they're on there. If you're willing to swipe. Mm-hmm. Fun fact. Robin Hood funds another 50 bucks. La Pil... Oh, I can't do those Spanish words. I just can't. I can't. Yeah. So, again, even if it's with dad, for dad, we have no money in our checking. We cannot be doing that. B- I 250 bucks account summary. You put it into Discover. It's a high yield. It's, it's a high yield. It's four well, point. This is this is uh, well, one second. It, that that's a savings account I started recently because it was a four point three percent. You can get four point six through SoFi. Yeah. Plus a bonus up up to two hundred fifty bucks. Okay. Listen, okay, you're obviously not a credit card person, right? No, I'm not. Dude, I'm use not. the Fizz card if you're going to use the card that you want to take mm-hmm. advantage of cards. I mean, I say that to basically anyone I want applies to, to anyone on the show. I wanted to get rid of those before I opened up another one. And just I a, wanted to pay them off. Well, I just wanted to say that with a couple things I work with. Yeah, you can use the Fizz. That's good. Mm-hmm. You can also use Vora when it comes to... If you're going to do... If you want to invest money, like I'm about to go through your Robinhood stuff, but it's so it makes so much more sense because it's automated, kind of like Acorns, except you actually get a match. So, gotcha. I mean, those things work, dude. Okay. This is better for your situation. Yeah. Because, yeah, in Robinhood, 346, because you took it down from 1,000 to 346, and it's in... I Enphase Energy G E in Par. I was Perion just Network. randomly exactly. So I'd rather you just yeah, put it in an automated just, fund. I really need to close that one. I sell, up, sell it all and take it out. It doesn't yeah, make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And I mean, even now, it's like the Robin Hood is practically empty because I never really filled it up, or I've been using that as a backup. And margin, Xfinity Mobile. Oh and yeah, the, the Xfinity is You're doing on there. Margin. The well, so when when I moved out, my my dad had I was under his phone my, his phone family plan thing under T Mobile, but when I moved out, he was he. This isn't a this isn't a Robinhood checking account, is it? No, but I basically use it as a checking account now. 
which is really bad, I know. And the reason why I went to Xfinity. So this is more spending. Yes, this is more spending. So we got more Starbucks. We got more Uber. Yep. The Caliente, Uber and Uber yep. and Uber. And we're even doing HB through here and Starbucks. And yep. you're borrowing it. Kind of. Well, well, it's all money that I put in there. I've just taken yeah, out and stuff. And reason why there's Xfinity is because... Yeah, my dad basically told me I couldn't take my phone with me when I moved out. So I had to get out a whole new phone because I was like, okay, well, you, I don't need you. And yeah, so I basically I'm still financing. I'm still paying off that this current phone that I have. If I'm not mistaken. Listen, we already talked about this and the way you went about it. School can be cool. Rule number seven. This is the proper way to do school. You thought you might want to do it but you didn't have the motivation yeah it didn't make sense for you to borrow that that six thousand whatever at a 12 percent death interest rate mm -hmm. and not only that but that correlates to our rule number six stop around with work stop mm -hmm. around with work do you like your job i do okay for the most part but yeah essentially what this is saying it's not the most it's it can be toxic, but yeah, if I like what I do. Well, okay, if it's toxic and you're barely making enough money, and I think you actually make a decent yeah. wage, but you have a certification where you could go be making much more money, I need you to stop around with work. Take this part of your life seriously. Mm -hmm. You need to, because it's important. Now, the bullshit food category, miscellaneous, that is, those categories are actually higher because of the Robin Hood stuff. So that's going to be more like a total of 30% of your overall spending. 30% of your overall spending. Were the, were the housing parts only 15%? Money that's going to pay off your debts only 5.7%. Showing an additional 30, if not 40, from the rest of this crap could yeah. be going there. The unknown shopping, that's usually things like Walmart. That's usually things like mm -hmm. Amazon, Target, because we don't know where that money's going necessarily. I do have pets. So some of those Walmart stuff and some of the HEB stuff. Okay, but that's only 13%. Yeah. Saving that money. I love when my money is making more money in the SoFi high yield savings account I use has 4.6% interest on that money. It's the savings account I personally use for my tax money that I set aside and other money that I just want to be building while it's just sitting there. And you can get bonuses by signing up all the way up to $250 by using my affiliate link in the description below. And it's not just because they're my affiliate. I personally use them. They're great. I've had a great experience with them so far. And I only recommend those who I like working with and who I like using. So if you have money sitting in savings, have that money make some more money and use that high yield savings account. Link in the description below. 4.6% and bonuses all the way up to $250. So it's ridiculous. All that extra crap could be going towards paying off debt. And you are choosing, you are choosing not to mm -hmm. actively. Yeah, Carter's ridiculous. Weed. Yeah. Weed two hundred uh weed one hundred sixty two dollars. Hence why I'm on a tolerance break. I, I'm trying to let it go. Tolerance break. Let's extend the tolerance break to a break break and uh, never have that. Yeah. yeah. What's your portion of rent? Monthly basis four hundred. That is incredible. Wow, Houston. Wow. What's your portion of utilities and internet? Um, utilities. It's just a uti utility. So, so light is about one hundred and fifty or about a hundred. No, I, I take care of that. So, oh. I take care of all of that other stuff because my boyfriend had to take a pay cut recently. Should he be on this show too separately? <laughs> Possibly. I was trying to convince him to come with me, but he's like, I have to work. I can't miss work. Yeah, let's get him on. Let's get him on. So usually he's off Tuesday. So I was hoping that I would land on a Tuesday, but I was just like, yeah, I'll just go in first by myself. So internet, 55, renters insurance, 20, good. Mm-hmm. A lot of people on the show don't even do that, even though you have to. Mm. Phone 80. Sounds like, who are you with, phone-wise? Xfinity. Okay. If I go to Mexico, Well, how much do you spend on laundry? More. A month, 50? Is that what I'm about, saying? About, yeah, just about 50. Because you guys don't have a machine. Right, so I go out to the laundromat um, every two weeks. Okay. Spotify, nope, canceled. Netflix, nope, canceled. I'll do this. Well, no, I won't. Google Storage, you already canceled? Yes, I did. Oh, what is that? Apple Connect? Uh, Care. Oh. For, for the oh. phone, just in case anything happens to my phone. I have that. 
12. Uber pass. Do we have to? Because I, so reason why I had Uber pass is because I noticed that it was saving me money know, and there were like, faster Ubers to get to earlier, work. earlier though. Yeah. What we learned, right? So mm-hmm. cancel that and we're just yes. taking the bus. Yes. What's it going to cost? What's a, what's a bus pass for a month? To take so unlimited it's buses? not, we, we don't really have that you if I'm not that? mistaken, because well, the buses I take, I know my boyfriend has a bus pass because he used to work downtown and now he doesn't anymore. So he doesn't really need it. But, uh, it, for a bus ride, it's like one twenty five. So for me, it would be, uh, what's one seventy five times one twenty five times three. Cause I take three buses to get to work. How many days a week? Six. 51 divided by 12. So let's put in a hundred bucks for that. Okay. You have a hundred bucks for transportation costs. It can be through Uber. It can be through the bus. Wake up early, do the bus. Mm-hmm. Uh, 919 for plus 200 for dad. No. So again, that, that was when I was in, in considering that he would take me to work and I would send him 50 for gas every week. Okay. So cat food. So now that's no longer. Cat food is 80. Litter is 20. And what's Pay this? for guinea pigs that I have. What about food for guinea pigs? My boyfriend takes care of the food for the guinea pigs. So it's 120. Yeah. Pet insurance? Mm-mm. Yeah, my cats don't really go to the vet. It's bad. That's yeah, it's bad. Yeah, That's, I know. I've been wanting to take if we them. We can't take them to the vet. That's mm-hmm. how that works. Look up local things. Sometimes there's like free vet days and the city services. Yeah. I, I don't know what's in Houston, but just look it up. Mm-hmm. Groceries. Uh, you gave yourself a toilet paper fund of 50. It's mm-hmm. good. Just anything you need for the household. And then you gave yourself 300 for food. That's correct. Obviously, you don't do gas. You don't do car. You don't do car insurance. Mm-mm. Is this it? Mm-hmm. Or is there another? No, okay. that's it. Your handwriting is a billion times better than mine. Congratulations. <laughs> Now, debt, minimum monthly payments. I was doing higher minimum payments on mine. Well, but we just need to know what's minimum monthly. Okay. 306.09. Which, yeah, it's a lot. Luckily, your rent's good. That's what's saving you right now. And yeah. no car payment. Yeah. It's also helping. Hence why I'm also refusing to get a car or do any of that. Well, we can get you to a place where you can do it right. Yes. But first, I would like to get out of this debt. Absolutely. Before I get into more debt with a car. If you can take the bus, we're doing it. Oh, yes. That's what I was thinking about. Because with since coming here, and then this kind of happened so quickly because someone canceled, if I'm not mistaken. But I... People always cancel. They're dicks. They're terrible. They <sighs> ruin our entire schedule. Um, but... Last minute. Um. Because of what had happened between me and my dad over trying to convince him to coming here, because I was just like, I sacrifice a lot for you, dude. I'm asking you one big favor, and you don't even want to deliver. Okay, then. Uh, So I've been thinking about, I've been contemplating a lot of things on the way here and how to change up a lot of things. One of which being taking the bus to work again. Yeah. Because I did do that for a solid month, and then I got tired of it. So I need to start doing that again, regardless. Well, the good news, you need $1,643 to survive on a monthly basis, giving you an extra if you don't like you have been doing with all your spending. $1,856 left on a monthly basis. Woo, woo, woo. That is money. How much was in your savings? Was it 250 Yeah, I have 200 going to it each month. Let's just, okay. Nope. Cancel that. Cancel whatever your okay. plans were. This is your budget. This is your minimum budget. First month, let's call it. We're going to be extra conservative, even though you have left over more than you need on a monthly basis, and you already have $250 in savings. So be conservative. It takes a little bit of time to adapt. Okay, cool. One month, you have a one-month emergency fund sitting in high-yield savings. Boom. There we go. Okay. Month number two, Quicksilver, paid off. Even And then you're putting the extra $800 towards the city simplicity. Then month number three, city simplicity is paid off. Boom, let's just be conservative again. We call that month number one, two, three. We have a one-month emergency fund. Quicksilver's gone. City simplicity is paid off. Now, month number four, discover it, put it all towards that. Month number five, put it all towards it again, and then the rest towards the personal loan. Then the personal loan should take an additional, 
by the, the by be, being conservative, by the end of month nine, all this debt should be gone. Gotcha. All this debt should be gone, and you should have a one month emergency fund. Okay. So now months. we're gonna save up ten thousand dollars as a six month emergency fund, or ten thousand dollars six month emer- which six months living expenses, or ten thousand dollars, whichever one's lower. Uh, so ten th- or whichever one's higher. So ten thousand dollars. Gotcha. Is what you're gonna do. Which means we need an additional, you know, like eight thousand four hundred. Mm-hmm. I had that by the extra money you have now left, and I'm glad we're taking care of that personal loan, which is just terrible death. There's no reason that should be mm-hmm. sitting there with your income situation. It doesn't make any sense. End it. Stop it. It's stupid. Mm-hmm. 2,100. Should take an additional four months. What did I say? Nine months conservatively? So yeah. So uh, about it's a, year. a year. It's called a year, year one month. You should have a fully funded emergency fund and no debt. Fully funded emergency fund, no debt. Then you can stick with this job as you want, or you can move if you need to do that, or you can go into the electricians. It's up to you. But what you right. do from there, 22, nothing in retirement, that's fine. Mm-hmm. You'll be 23 at the time. We start setting aside 20% yeah. for retirement. Okay. No more than 50% should go to your needs, especially in the Houston area with your job splitting with your boyfriend. But it's actually going to be less than that. I can already tell. Yeah. So the rest can go towards fun. 20% towards retirement. Whatever you need towards your needs, cap at fifty percent if you can. It's not like that in every area, like LA or New York. I know, right? But you can do it, mm-hmm. and then the rest goes towards fun. So as long as you're hitting that twenty percent towards retirement, that's great. Roth IRA, workplace contribution, if they yes. have it, you know. I wish they did. 20%. For some reason, my my job doesn't offer four hundred one ks or anything like that. They do life insurance and health insurance, and oh, you're taking advantage of that. Yes, I am. Good. I do have health insurance, which is why the therapy is free. <laughs> There's no copay. Good, Thank good, God. Good. Is there anything medical um, I should have put into the budget? No. Cool. Then we're good. Yeah. That's it. Then eleven. Uh, then uh, thirteen months. Twelve to thirteen months. And gave you some wiggle room there to say 13. I think you could do it in 12. I think you could do it in 11, really. You could really cut back. Just be, especially be on the same page with the boyfriend. Like, yo, if we want to go out, I'm sorry, you're going to have to pay. Because yeah. I'm just trying to get out of debt. And here's why. So we can have a future. Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So that's what I would do. You have a chance for a great future. Starting your investing at 20% on a monthly basis or annual yeah. basis. At 23 you're going to retire so well. You're going to have a great life. You need to take That's care of this now. Goal. Most important right now, we need to deal with the trauma with the passing yeah. and with the relationship with the rest of the family. You need to take care of that so that we can have the motivation to actually kick ass. Because you, you're, you're going to walk away from this conversation. You're going to have Definitely. a fire under your Oh, Is yeah. that going to last for 13 months? I don't know. That's hard. We have a Discord of all past guests. We're going to get you in that. But okay. what we see on there, though a lot of people are making progress, some people get a fire under for a couple months and then they'll start falling off. Mm. Can't do that. Old habits die hard. Mm-hmm. Mental health, take care of it. Same communication with us, take care of it. We're stay gonna sober have you back in thirteen goal. minutes. Yeah, stay sober if you can, because I didn't put that in the budget. I wouldn't. Staying sober is the goal. Yes, because I did become dependent yeah. after my mom died. So staying sober sure. is my goal currently. Lot, lots, lots of yeah, uh, coping that's unproductive in an unhealthy yeah. way. And I've I've passing. noticed the the how it has um, taken a hit um on that and i mean it's also like i know you've mentioned this before in past videos where it's like Mm -hmm. you know if your parents don't have that retirement the kids do feel morally obligated and i do feel morally obligated yep so it's like irresponsible of him yes Uh, oh well now he's not getting hired but (sighs) still he put himself in that position by taking out all of his 401ks and liquidating them so that's on him which is why I'm like, I just, I want to have my future set. I want to be able to retire. I want to be able to not care by that point. In follow 60. the rules of not being a f- Follow the budget I have here. Take care of your mental health and you should be able to. Yes. You, you could retire by 59 and a half. You could. Yes. It'd be great. The goal is earlier, so we shall see. <laughs> just see how much and If I you want to do in. earlier and you want to do something like fire, you're going to need a higher income source. Yes. So I'd go through the electrician route towards that. And then you For need sure. to aggressively budget. Uh, but that's up to you. Do you have any uh, final questions? Any final thoughts? You whore! <laughs> um, don't do drugs, kids. That's my comment. <laughs> that's my, like, those are my final thoughts. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Good final thought. <laughs> um, and, and, 
And if people keep telling you, stop talking to a certain person, stop talking to them. If several people tell you, you should probably stop. But yeah, apart from that, I'm pretty good. <laughs> when it comes to her spending in a budget, it's pretty darn bad, especially when we're overdrafting our checking account. We didn't even talk about that. So it's a zero out of 10. It's as bad as it gets. So debt, debt is not as bad as it gets, but it's still pretty darn bad, especially with that 12% interest rate of death and the 32% on the credit card. That's going to be a two out of 10 merchant fund. Glad she started. So it's going to be a one out of 10, but she's not very far in them. Retirement, there's nothing zero out of 10. Real estate, there's nothing zero out of 10. So that's going to be a 0.5 out of 10. Don't forget to check out all the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calopammer.com.